stampers and welcome to Laura's stamp pad. Today I'm going to show you a fabulous technique. It's called the spotlight technique and it looks like this. So what it is is it spotlights color on a portion of your image. So today I used the Swallowtail Butterfly, which is one of the large stamp sets. As you can see, I'm using my large F block of the clear block there to fit the um, the swallowtail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with having three pieces of Whisper White cardstock measuring four inches by five and a quarter. And you need two to actually use for your cards and then the other one will be used as a template. So let's get started. First I'm going to take my stays on ink. I love the smell of stays on. I don't know about you, but I enjoy stamping with it just so I can smell it. So I'm just going to ink up my entire stamp here and then stamp it down onto one of my pieces of Whisper White cardstock. And I usually like to go a little diagonal just because I can never get it straight on, so why not have the butterfly look like it's flying away? And I'll pull that off and then we're actually going to do one more on one of our other pieces of Whisper White. And again, I just kind of did it diagonal. It doesn't matter that part of it's falling off. It doesn't matter that each of these don't look the same. Uh, you know, each of them are just going to be different and they're all handmade. So that's the joy of it. You don't have to worry about it being perfect. And stamp this one down as well. So each of them now have one of your butterflies. And so, and it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't matter that they're all a little different. Now you're going to take one of the butterflies, it doesn't matter which one, and you're going to color it in completely with a marker. Here I'm using um, two of our new in colors, Hello Honey, which is this fabulous rich yellow color, and Tangelo Twist, which is like a bright orange color that I super love. Perfect for butterflies. So now you're just going to color the entire butterfly in. Okay, and now that I have my entire butterfly colored in Tangelo Twist, I'm going to take just various sizes of my circle punches. As you can see here, I have one and three eighths, one and a quarter, one inch, and also a three quarter inch. And what you're going to do then is you're going to punch part of your butterfly out. So you can include some white and some of the colored image, and you're just going to punch that out and then you're going to line that up with your image that you have here. So I just used a little bit of snail adhesive and I like to go ahead and do the puzzle pieces as I go along so that I don't end up losing track of where the piece goes. So I know that this one goes on the butterfly over here and so I'm just going to line it up with the edge of my cardstock there and then just move to another punch and you can punch as many circles as you want. You can do some that are include all of the colored butterfly piece and you can do some that are a little bit of the white as well as the butterfly. And you can use all one punch or you can always mix and match and use varying sizes of punches as well. And then this just spotlights the butterfly in certain colors. I'll do one more big one right here at the top. Sometimes it can be a little tricky on how to match up your little puzzle pieces as well. 
So there you can see how there's the spotlight on just a few of the images of the butterfly. And then you can always just layer that onto a piece of Tangelo Twist cardstock. I have the regular size card base here, which is just a five and a half, five and a half wide. And then of course it is eight and a half long, which makes it folded in half as five and a half by four and a quarter. And then you can just layer that on there for that perfect little coloring. Then, don't get rid of your template just yet. You can then take your template on your other piece, and what you're going to do is lay it onto your butterfly, and it doesn't have to match up perfectly, and use another color, or you could always use the same color, and you're just going to color in on those open holes. So you're just going to color in. You're not going to want to color where the butterfly is not. You're just going to want to color where the butterfly image is. And you just use this as a little template here. And you can always move them around and do, you know, a half a butterfly here or, you know, change it up a little bit. You don't have to do it exactly how it is, but you can just use this as your little template for how your circles are. I always kind of like to do the middle, but it's hard to get a punched image there. So it's perfect for this style because then you can get that center there. And you'll just keep coloring in all of these little circles, as many as you wish to do, to spotlight your little butterfly. And we'll do one more down here towards the bottom. And there you have it. As you can see with this one, your spotlight is a little bit more subtle, whereas with your other one, you can see there's a little bit more of a 3D look there because of each of your little uh, circles actually kind of pop up your card a little bit. You could always add a few dimensionals to those circles too to give just a little bit more dimension to your card. And of course, you can always just layer this uh, with some of the Hello Honey cardstock. And we'll just add this on there with a little bit of snail adhesive. And there you have your two spotlight techniques and then your little template as well. So there, you know, I have the, the one that we did with the markers, and of course you can make a million of these with your leftover template that you have here. So you can see that, or you can always make more of these with the little punch outs there. I hope you enjoyed this technique. Be sure to like and subscribe to my video because then you'll never miss out on any of my fabulous video tutorials. And feel free to leave a comment below if you'd like to see something in the next video. Happy stamping!